34 years have gone since the historic rising which led to the independence of our nation. I've been asked to recall some memories of that stirring epoch in the story of our country. This project began at a residency at the Tyrone Guthrie Centre, where myself, a dancer, an actor and a historian, went off to start looking into the ideas surrounding nationalism and patriotism. And at the time, 1916 was one of a few different case studies we were going to use. But while there, and learning more about the complexities of 1916, and more importantly how we relate to 1916, we uncovered a much more intricate and very relevant set of questions for the Ireland of today. It wasn't so much about commemoration as it was an issue of our own constantly changing relationship to our history. Over the time at the Tyrone Centre, we worked with a range of texts, um, media and design ideas. We found audio from the Bureau of Military History, uh, we found path films from the BBC, old newspaper scraps. And from all of that, one image that really came to the forefront at the end was the use of paper. Our next research residency was at the yard in Martha's Vineyard, and we really tried to dive into the idea of the paper. how it could be used in different ways, how we could change the landscape of the performance space, how we could create and destroy images or create and destroy characters. Even the nature of the paper itself, the pristine white seemed to resonate. Like the history itself, it was constantly being drawn on, constantly morphing and shifting. And we found a very organic way in which the scenic and design elements started to live inside the ideas from the beginning, which I found very, very interesting. I think this piece has the potential to really move people and really provoke them to question not just where the country's been, but where it is right now, and maybe most importantly, uh, to, to think about where it's going next. Thank you.